So, this is a laser projector and this is a yo-yo. Uh, that doesn't matter, irrelevant, but this is really cool because doing something like this on a green screen and keying it out is actually super complicated. That's why I brought this yo-yo with me to present this technology. Now, these are two laser projectors and a camera on a slider working slowly left to right. That's all it is. And this setup seems easy at first, very, yeah, easy to, to, like, to comprehend, but to pull off, essentially, it's very complicated because you need to just be prepared with a bunch of stuff, with the lights, with the whole setup. It's not that easy to do. And what I really like about stuff like this is that the light is natural. There's no green screen, there's nothing, there's no post-production. So stuff like this in 24 frames per second, there's no, there's no, you won't, you won't see any green. Um, basically you see a little bit green screen always when something is really, really fast. And here you just don't see that. So have a look at this video. Tell me what you think. If this is a cool feature, would you use this in your own productions or your own course? By the way, I really like, uh, I actually prefer to present uh, standing rather than sitting because sitting just makes you kind of be, uh, it's just, you know, public speaking is a body language at itself. So it's good to have some space that you can walk around and interact with stuff. And all of these, all of this coolness, all this tech behind me is for, for, to, for basically to tell a story better. So people who teach, people who share their knowledge online are able to do it faster, more effect, effectively, and in, in essence, just save time for, for themselves and for the production team and just for everyone because they can iterate faster, the results come out faster, and everything just looks beautiful. So I'll see you in the next video. It doesn't matter. To wyjdę z tej, nie? Bla, bla, bla. I schowam się tutaj i tu jest koniec ujęcia. Dobra, zajebiście. Pewnie się, że mam ostrość tu. So, um, let me... Also, I want to show you something really cool. These projectors are uh, laser projectors. So, so, so this, these two laser projectors are a few meters behind me. So I'm going to take a few steps back. Hopefully Matthew won't see, because he's very picky about the carpet. And look at this, I'm, I'm, I'm up here, I'm up here, and I'm still not throwing any shade, any shade, no shade whatsoever. Oh, there's some shade, but that's, that's I'm like right in front of it. So technically, if it would be possible to light me here without affecting this screen, we would be in heaven. Unfortunately, that's kind of not possible because we can't break laws of physics. That's why we give some space to this. And we're able to do this, as you can see, I'm now beautifully, be beautifully lit because of the two, uh, what are the names of the lights? Ring light? Soft boxes. Soft boxes, yeah. There's two soft boxes, one bigger, one smaller, uh, working from side to side here. And there's also a backlight up here, which is really important because it gives you, gives me contrast to whatever is in front. So I am actually, yeah, I'm actually a little bit, yeah. Uh, oh, I overstepped my focus point because remember, yeah, you have to kind of keep that into account that the focus uh, plane usually is around one space. So if I break it, it will, I'll become out of focus or in focus. So yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to do some background switches, just just to keep it, just yeah, keep it more dynamic. I'll put this yo-yo over here. I don't need the yo-yo anymore. So there's a BMW here, right there. I could, and you know what, guys, is really cool about this this tech. Like this is literally the best thing about it. I can see it, right? When you're working with green screen, it's just so annoying to not be able to see. Just take a glance. Oh. I'm talking about this. Oh, these are purple, these are blue. Oh, I'm at this frame. You do not get that on a green screen because the green screen usually, um, everybody's like the director or people just looking at what's coming out of the video 
are usually like looking next to a, a, a monitor, right? And just looking at it and that's it. And they're like, oh, okay, that's a nice shot. Well, okay. But this is like brilliant because I can see and I can like actually perform to what's going on. Oh, and now we're in cyberpunk and now this is that. So you get my point. It's dynamic. It's at a click of a button. Uh, yeah, I could control it from my phone. I could just beam stuff. You could do a self production, uh, just having this setup, right? And just plan everything out. Of course, it's recommended to work with a operator dedicated who, who just knows his craft and he'll be able to do these things and keep your pace going. Um, this is Machi. Yeah, that, I was talking about this guy. He's, he kind of runs the show and is able to do this while I'm able to talk and, and present it. So that's how it worked. Oh, and these backgrounds, by the way, these backgrounds were generated in about 20 seconds of work. I just told AI that I wanted something futuristic, blocky, rendered in Unreal Engine. And it just gives me the images that we're able to push through this and have a look and just iterate, iterate, iterate. And if you find a concept that we like, then we can start animating it or putting it into motion or giving it some more life, particles, whatever. But the concept phase is the most fun part because there you can play with it and you can have a look. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video.